Hello and welcome to Sage X3. In this session, you'll learn about some important new financial compliance enhancements, including a new report that provides statistics related to payment delays, how to set up the activity code to run the report, understanding the anatomy of the report, and how to run the report. Let's get started learning about these new features. A new report provides statistics related to payment delays that companies in France must provide to auditors. This is due to a French legal requirement concerning the Law of Modernization, also known as LME. This new report is called the End of Fiscal Year Aged Overdue Invoice List. For customers and suppliers, this report contains the number and the total amount, taxes excluded, of issued or received invoices that are still unpaid at the fiscal year-end date and whose due date is exceeded. These amounts are broken down by late payment ranges. In addition, the percentage of the late payments to the total amounts of sales or purchases for the year are displayed. Before running the report, the activity code HDU available on the folder generation window on the Options tab must be set to Yes. To do this, go to Setup, General Parameters, Folders, and click the Options tab. You can then access the report from the Reports menu and enter B-A-L-A-G-E-E-O-Y as the report code. This is where you enter the report criteria in order to filter open items and invoices by company and site. Enter the company and site ranges. For a multi-site invoice, the header site alone is considered for all calculations. Enter the control account ranges for blocks A and B. Selected open items will display in block A, which details past due and unpaid invoices. For block B, excluded open items will be displayed. For the range of business partners, you can filter open items and invoices according to the business partner they are linked to. You can also indicate the intervals for late payment breakdown, which need to be entered in increasing order, such as 0, 30, 60, 90. These values cannot be negative. Enter the fiscal year end date of the entered company for its main general ledger, closed or open status only. At the sign parameter, you can indicate how open item and invoice amounts must be displayed in the report. For example, if the sign is set to debit for a customer invoice, amounts are displayed with no sign, whereas they're displayed with a negative sign for a customer credit memo. After clicking to print the report, the first page is displayed. Click the Next Page button to display the second page of the report. To meet the requirement, you need to run the report once for customer invoices and once for supplier invoices, thanks to control account, range, or group. The report layout is the same for customers and suppliers. Amounts are displayed in the main general ledger currency. In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up the appropriate activity code, enter the report parameters, and run the end-of-year aged overdue invoice list. First, let's make sure the HDU activity code is set for the folder definition. Go to Setup, General Parameters, Folders. Click the Options tab and then enter HDU. In our example, we can see that Yes is already selected. So go ahead and close the page. Now let's run the report. Go to the Reports, Reports menu, and enter B-A-L-A-G-E-E-O-Y in the left list. And then enter the criteria. For our example, for Company, we'll enter FR10. For Control Account Range, Block A, we'll enter C1. For Control Account Range, Block B, we'll enter CCI. 
We'll enter 12-31-2016 as the fiscal year end reference date. And for all the remaining entries, we'll use the defaults. Click Print. In the Print Status window, click Download and then click Open at the bottom of the screen to open the PDF. Here is the first page of the report. And here you can see the second page of the report. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about X3 and Sage Learning Services, visit the Sage University website.